Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm going to show you a technique for a different kind of cheeseburger. I call it the outside-in cheeseburger because the cheese is inside. The idea came to me from a restaurant in New York. When I was a kid growing up outside of New York, there was this famous restaurant. They had the most delicious, juiciest burger imaginable. And it turns out the reason is that they put a pat of butter in the middle of the burger, and as it cooked, the butter would melt and it would create this ultimate burger. So instead of using butter, I'm going to use some brie cheese. I'll show you how it works, but first let me consider the meat itself. Ground chuck is my preferred meat for a burger, and to give it a little added juiciness, I'm just going to add some stock, some beef stock, and to help bind it all together, a little bit of breadcrumb, and of course we've got to season it up with some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to make um, about a six ounce burger. Of course, mash all that stuff together to get everything well incorporated. And the real key here for the burger to turn out perfectly is to make it so that the brie is right in the center of the burger. You don't want the brie seeping out the side and creating a mess on the grill. So get yourself about a, a six ounce size burger and just create a little well, a little indentation right in the middle. But don't go all the way down. Don't go to the bottom of the burger. Just about that. And don't use too much cheese. That's another problem. If you have too much cheese, it's going to melt right through. So just a knob about this big. Okay, and I've taken the rind off of that just because I find that it, it tastes better this way. It melts better. And then I'm just going to fold the meat up on top of the burger and very gently pat it into shape. I want it to be about a three-quarter of an inch to an inch thickness. And there we go. I'll make a few more of these and take them to the grill. So the patties are made with the cheese inside. I've got the grill preheated to high and I'm just going to let them cook. They really don't need any oil at all on the burgers. There's enough fat in the burgers themselves that they're going to release easily. If I have the patience to wait, I'm just going to let them cook for about four minutes. They're going to begin to caramelize, turn them over, cook them four minutes on the other side, and I will have myself some mighty fine burgers. So after eight to ten minutes, this is what I've got. Beautifully grilled burger. I'm dressing it up a little bit with some whole grain mustard, some arugula and some caramelized shallots right on top. It's time. It's the cheeseburger with the prize inside.